Hey, what's going on, guys? Troy here for another review. Um, after doing some digging, um, a lot of research, I finally found out a way to do continuous recording with uh, with my Canon 90D. So this little device you see right here is a wireless remote. It's called a Pixel Pro. Um, this model number is TW. Uh, 283 E as in Easter and the number three. That's the model uh, number to run this um, Candy 90D. So um, keep in mind, they have a lot of uh, remotes. They're all the same, but just make sure you get the right model number because even though they all look the same, they won't function um, on every uh, DSLR camera. So, all right, guys. So as far as this, this remote, um, cost about 40 bucks. So the, the highest one I saw was 50. So it, the, the price varies like 30 to 50 bucks, uh, on Amazon. So I'm going to do a quick video. I'm going to show you how to use, how to program it to do continuous recording, nothing else. Um, Cause this is the, this video is this, is very hard to find online. So I'm going to keep it simple, straight to the point. And, uh, that way you guys can go ahead and enjoy your camera even, even more. So, you either have two options. You either can get a wireless remote like this. They have a Ninja, which is the same thing as this uh, wireless remote. Um, the only different is, obviously, the Ninja is a, it's a, a pretty big screen. And it does other stuff, too, as well. But uh, at the end of the day, now, if you're not doing nothing crazy fancy, if you just want to just do some simple recording, this will do just fine. And it's it's a, a fraction of the price uh, compared to a Ninja or was it Atomos? stuff like that so you can get uh, a wireless remote or if you want some you want a camera that's going to record throughout without any interruption you're going to have to upgrade and get a more expensive uh camera or get you a camcorder so this just keeping your options open is that you know what you're working with so you only got three options you either get this wire remote wireless remote get you a, a more expensive camera or just get you a camcorder so those are your options all right, but anyway, guys, go ahead and get straight to it. Turn the device on. You just simply press down the power button. Two seconds, fire that bad boy on, and then the light comes on as well. You just hit it again, and it turns on. So this is what you're going to do. As soon as you turn it on, you're going to simply just use the right arrow, channel two, keep going. One more time, interval. Now, you should be able to see that. It's not that good. Okay, there, you should be able to see it now. Say interval right there above that 30. And you see an interval right there. All right, this is this this is this where you want to be. So you see how mine has 30 and it has three. You already know that the cameras they only record up to 30. Majority of them, not all of them, obviously, but majority of the cameras only record up to 30 minutes at a time so i have it set for 30 minutes and the three seconds is for for it to start over again well for it to to uh, to record again so it's gonna stop the remote is gonna record at within three seconds so once the 30 minutes is up the remote is gonna give it three seconds one two three and it's gonna it's gonna start the recording over again so you're probably wondering how do you set it once you get to interval you simply just hit the middle button you see it has for three you move over to the left and then that's how you set it because the max you only can do is 30 minutes so it's up to you if you want to do you know 20 minutes 10 minutes 15 but that's kind of pointless um so if you want to do the continuous recording go ahead and max it all the way out to 30 because that's the max amount of time that it record 30 minutes and then you swoop it over, you know, you go up and down to adjust the time. So you don't want a huge um, gap uh, in between uh, videos. So three is plenty because three is giving enough time to read it. And then, you know, and then get it's getting ready for it to, to start over again. So you don't want to put it to 10, 10 seconds, 30 seconds, because remember when you're doing these interviews, you know, your, your, your guest is talking still. 
So you want to time it just perfectly to where it's seamless. So keep it at three seconds, you'll be okay. Because if you do it anything uh, more than that, you're going to miss out on quite a bit of the uh, the conversation. So just keep it at three seconds, you're going to be good. Once you're done with that, go ahead and hit it, and it's set. So whenever you, you're going to turn it off. I'm turning it off right now, I'll show you guys. Turn it off. Turn it back on. Boom, it's still there. So once you set it, it's going to stay in that setting until you decide to change the setting. So that's the good part about it. It has the memory um, to the ports where when you program it, the first time it's going to stay like that until you decide to change it. So this setting will be like this the entire time I'm using this remote. Okay, so once you um, set it, you simply just hit the play button and then that's the, that's the stop button at the same time. So you're going to hit one time to play and then it's going to go like this, count down. And then whenever you want to stop it, you just hit it again to stop it. So that's pretty much it. And I'll show you guys again, you go back and it's still there. See, you go over, it's still there. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys this last very important step because for some reason, the videos I did find, I think only one, I found one video of a guy, he actually walked me through it 100%. Uh, the other people was like, kind of like, Oh, just programming. That's it. No, you, it's one more step. You have to program your 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 camera to the actual remote to where it will it will allow it to um, keep recording after every thirty minutes. If you don't do this step, it doesn't. It won't work. Trust me. So anyway, here's the camera. I'm gonna show you guys how, uh, where to go. Uh, it's it's obviously gonna be different based off your camera, right? But we're just gonna use my camera for example. Uh, on what to actually do so it's off turn it back on okay so okay it's on I'm gonna press menu and i'm already there so you see that wrench that's the setup four setup four so let me go all the way back okay so up to the very beginning it says shoot four so you have on the camera you're just simply going to use your arrow or your finger you know, my accessories, I'm using my finger, and you go all the way to the wrench, and you see where it has uh, the numbers. You go all the way to four, and you look right here where it says shutter button function for movies. That's the if you don't, if you don't, if you don't change the setting, it will not work. You're gonna be pulling your hair out. So we're gonna click on that. You see how it says half press meter, servo, autofocus, and then right here at the bottom, the second line, it says fully press, no function. So you're going to go back to the top, have press. You're going to click on that. And you see how you have three options. You have meter, servo, autofocus. And then you have meter, one shot, autofocus. And you have metering only. So you're going to simply just click on meter plus servo, autofocus. And then you're going to go back. And that's it. That's, 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 let me just make sure I'm looking at everything correctly. I don't want to lead you guys astray. Okay, that's the. Okay, yeah, that's it. So you're going to go all the way to four. You're going to go to shutter button function for movie. You're going to click on uh, half press, meter, servo. And that's pretty much about it. So let me go back, all the way back, and make sure, let you guys know it works. So I'm going to turn on the receiver. All right, then once the receiver come on, it's gonna, as you can see, it's on, but the light is it's always blinking green. That means it's connected. So I didn't change anything either. I left everything the same. So a quick little view. All right, and I have it. Make sure you have it on video. You see right there, that should be a no brainer, but make sure you have it on video. So put, make sure you have it on video. And um, right here, I have mine on channel two. It's custom channel one channel two um a whatever you use to shoot your um to, to shoot your video so i have mine on custom too and make sure it's awake too mine see i just fell asleep so i'm gonna wake it back up all right there we go so all i'm gonna do is just hit the play button and should you should see the uh the red indicator the red light um so here we go
Okay. Let me stop it. All right, so I messed up. All right, let me go back. It's on camera. It's on setting. Let me go to shut up. Wait a minute. Is this it? Okay. Shutter button. Fully press start stop. Uh, I think that's it. That should be it. So let me see. All right. Here we go again. It's not working for some reason. Let me go over. Okay, this should be it. There we go. Booyah. As you can see, you see the record right here in the corner, upper right. And that's it. And then you have the countdown right here, as you can as you can see. And then once it goes all the way to 30, it's going to show you a message going to pop up on the screen saying that this camera has reached the maximum amount of time of recording. And then you don't do anything. The actual remote is just going to it's just going to start over again. So you see how it's counting down 29, 34, 33. So it's keep counting down until it gets to zero. And then once it gets to zero, it's just going to automatically start over again. So you don't have to do anything. You can just set it and forget it. That's it. So let me run it back again, guys, because obviously I, I uh, missed some steps. Um, so I'm going to run it back to you one more time on the settings you have to choose, and then that's it. So I'm just simply going to stop it. And... Yeah. Okay, so I'll stop it. Uh, make sure too, guys. Um, once you play it, you see how it jumps all the way over to the very, the very left. Make sure you have it back in interval. That way, you can control it. If it's not an interval, it's not going to do anything. So make sure you put in an interval. You see, it's thirty minutes and three seconds. I'm going to hit play, and then it's going to record. And then it's there's still an interval, so if you want to stop it, just hit stop, and then it's going to stop. It's going to show up on here. It's going to stop. So make sure you have it over an interval. That's the only way you can do it. And you see how I did it? It stopped. And then once you click it, it jumps over all the way to the very beginning. So just make sure um, whenever you whenever you start it, make sure it's an interval as it is as it is right now. And then whenever you want to stop it, just make sure. Um, you make sure it's an interval again because it'll jump over once you hit play. It'll jump all the way to the beginning, uh, to the very left side of the screen. So once you play it again, just you know slide it back over. Make sure it's an interval, and then you're gonna hit the play button, and that's it. So let me go back to the menu. All right, guys, hit the menu. So you see the shutter button function for movies. Um, I put. Uh, fully press start stop movie recording and then and then that was it that's that's really it so i'm gonna go back again it's gonna go to fully press click on that it says it's gonna be no function by default so just make sure you scroll down to start stop movie record hit that and then that's it you go back to the menu as you can see right now i told you go all the way to the wrench which is set up uh four and then you go all the way to four and then it's going to say shutter button function for movies. So once you click on that, you go to f uh, fully press. You go all the way down to start, stop movie. And then you go back to your video. I mean, and then you're going to, it's an interval right now. So hit play. Should have, there we go. Hit play. And then that's it. So. And of course, when you want to stop, you just click stop and then drag it back over to interval. And then you're going to just hit it again and then it's going to stop. That's it. So that's it, guys. I hope this video will help. If it does, please leave a comment in the description down below. Like and uh, subscribe. So until next time, guys, stronger. I'm out.